Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. I was going to leave my head shave till tomorrow, but I'm hoping something comes in the mail tomorrow for my face shave, so I'm going to knock the head shave on the head now. Hopefully, it'll just be a head shave. I'm not going to mention time, because people keep whinging about it. Especially the Aussies, they whinge about everything. Oh. Right, soap. Phoenix and Bolt Albion, which is a a peppery citrus scent. It's got grapefruit scent in there, but I, I can't actually pick grapefruit from it, I don't think. I just get that real zing of citrus along with a sort of peppery background. And on the front, it does tell you what it is. Bergamot, lavender and grapefruit. I don't really smell bergamot or the lavender. I probably do, but I get a peppery citrus scent and it is lovely. Right, I'm going to be using this Shedding Beast again. Probably looking to get this re knotted very, very soon if it keeps going the way it's going. It is driving me crazy. I did a bowl lather a few nights ago. An extended bowl lather, albeit it was probably a 15 minute lather, but lost 20 hairs. So it's, it's just pissing me off now, if I'm honest. Just squeezed the excess out, straight into the dry soap. Someone actually mentioned on the channel that, on some one of the comments, that it might just be a brush that doesn't like being bowl lathered or face lathered. Well, what, what kind of brush is it then if you can't bowl lather or face lather with? Not a very good one. So we shall see how many hairs I lose if I lost one already. Nope. Might be only a winner here. Might be only a winner. Not. I actually thought I was beating the shedding recently. I thought it was getting better, but then I had a shave and it, it popped a few more out. Did the face, did the bowl lather a couple of nights ago and it popped loads out. I just can't, I can't pick it with it, it's, it's a shame really because it's a beautiful brush and not, I really can't, you know I've got tuxedo knots and I've now got the cashmere style knots, so I've got some beautifully soft synthetic knots in the den, this thing is, it really does hold its own with those, with those knots and I enjoy using it for some reason, I, Look, you guys out there that use natural hair brushes and can't stand synthetics, it's probably a bit of that sort of feeling that I get using this brush. I do get a, I get a sense of accomplishment when I get a good lather with it, which isn't very often, but when I do get one, I am, I am pretty chuffed with it. Right, I'm not going to add really any water into the bowl. So it's a Saponificio Varicino shaving grill, as you can see. I won't be dedicating this video to anyone. I'm not going to dedicate the, the head shaves unless the person I'm actually dedicating it to is a head shaver. And I think I've pretty much done all my dedications to head shavers. Only one that I'll probably pop, pop one on there for would be Bald and Bearded. I can't remember what his channel name is now. He changed it a while back there. But he hasn't been doing too well work-wise and his videos have sort of disappeared. And I, I enjoy his videos because he's a, very similar to me. He just talks his mind and swears a lot. Now, my swearing, however, I am trying to curb a little bit. For you guys that are wet tubers out there that use YouTube and actually put your videos on there, doesn't need wet shaving, but whatever videos you do. They've brought in a new system now for the advertising on AdSense. And it, I think it's basically a robot that goes through the whole video, listens to the video at fast time. And if there's any swearing or anything in it, or anything sort of untoward or anything in the videos or the pictures or anything, I'm not sure how it works. Or whether it's just bullshit and they just make it up so that people don't really get much from the videos anymore. But I've been getting a lot, of, quite a lot of my videos have come up. Not good for most advertisers. <laughs> so I'm going to try and make it a little bit more PG, as best I can. Look, I... I swear all the time, it's part of, part of who I am, it's what I do, it's what I've always done. The, the beauty of my swearing is I can switch it off whenever I want and I can switch it on whenever I want. I'm not sort of tied into it in a sense as some people are that just swear constantly. And it was mainly all those years in the police that allowed me to do that. Because when you're in the police and you're dealing with your, your general pub public, general public, motorists, speeders, things like that, people going to and from work. Then that's when you've got to pull your head in and 
use the correct language and swearing isn't part of that language. Now this is taking a hell of a long time to get up to get it to really whip up. I might have left too much moisture in the brush. Now, surprisingly enough, I don't think I've lost any hairs yet. <laughs> like I say, I, I really put this through its paces a couple of nights ago in a bowl ladder. I really beat it about a bit, gave it a, not being violent with it, but I did give it a bit of heave hole in the bowl because I just, it's just doing my head in it. I don't think it's actually coming out of the glue. I think the snapping at the base of the hairs and probably being a bit rough with it isn't the best thing, but if I can get rid of all the, all the dead weight in the brush, all the hairs that are just pissing me off, then it might end up just turning into a great knot with a hundred less hairs in it <laughs> which is pretty much how many hairs I've lost since I got the brush that's it, start, it's starting to thicken now that just seemed to take forever and ever to get there and don't get me wrong, Phoenix and Bow is awesome soap it does, for me, it takes a little bit longer to get it going in the bowl but more so with this with, this, with an actual hairbrush but, as you can see... I've just had a message pop up there from Kyle. Blaming his Aussie accent, why I can't say... Not from Kyle, from Spencer. Blaming his accent was why he can't say Kyle. I'm going to say Carl. Carl. Hey, gal, mate. I've got to give the Aussies one thing, I've got to give them their due, I, I do like the fact that they see it as it is, they see it as they see it, there's no bullshit with them, even the sports like AFL, as much as I can't stand it, it's not my sort of scene, it's a no bullshit sport, you know, you, you ain't going into that game half hearted because you're going to come out with a lot of injuries, I've seen people getting elbowed, punched, kicked, I, I've, I think I've seen about every sort of crazy injury and assault you can possibly imagine. I'm at seven minutes and I haven't, you know, my ladder is just pretty much where I like it. So that's, that's quite, quite bad really. But there we go. So as you can see, the bowl's still got loads in it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, thick, creamy lather. Now, touch wood, I haven't lost a single hair yet. So before I start and prove the brush wrong, I'll have a chai tea. That's right, it's Ben's a fucking chai tea. That was a quiet effing, by the way, just in case the little robot is near it. And you've got to sip tea and slurp it. Now you don't do that with coffee, you drink coffee nicely. Right, let's wet the head. I'm going with hot water today. Why not? It's been pretty chilly. Right. Just paint this on. kids through there watching the Simpsons movie. They haven't watched it for a while. Right, just dipping the tips a bit there. And let's see what sort of lather this beast can whip up for me. I never really have any problems whipping lathers with this brush if I'm honest. I just have problems with the, the hair loss, like myself. There's nothing worse than having a brush that's losing hair quicker than I am. Another thing I like about the natural hair feeling, or well, not so much the feeling, it's a bit like the razor, you get a bit of audible, excuse me, a bit of audible feedback from it against the grain on your hair. 
you don't really get that from a synthetic because it's so soft it just sort of glides over you here. Right, I'm happy with that. It's not the best lather I've made, but I'm happy with it. In fact, it's a bit thin on this side. It's all about... It's all about getting the flow through right with these brushes. Shut up! Right, here we go, with the green. Got the Wunderbar Kai Blade. Don't know how many shades on it. Just gonna use it until it dies. Pretty sure I've got three days growth. So it's reasonably heavy growth. And just so you guys out there, like Kyle, if you get more withdrawal symptoms, face shaves of Wednesdays and Saturdays, with the odd one chucked in every now and then now. I'm actually enjoying knocking down three days growth. And a bit of big news, or big-ish news, it's not really big yet until it gets a bit further along the line, but I've got through the first phase of the transit guard application. I've got my physical on the 1st of September. And then we'll go from there. I'm not sure, quite sure what the... Oh, lacking a bit of lather just to the back of my ear there. Quite sure what the process is from process process is from then on, but I've got through the first bit, and that's the main thing. I know there is a from what I hear a reasonably difficult entrance exam in terms of it's all about shapes and you know four patterns and you've got to pick the one that's different or, or are any of them different, that sort of stuff. Which I'm actually not too bad at. I think it's similar to the police one that I did all those years ago now. So it's, uh, it's not anything that I'll be too worried about. Just watching the back of my head as I'm shaving it. Which might sound daft, but I do have a mirror over there. <laughs> and it does really help. Not what I'm doing this side. Now one thing I will say with this Kai Blade. Like I say, I don't know how many shaves I've had out of this blade. I've had a lot. I'm just going to empty the sink out because the water's filthy. I've had a lot of shaves out of this blade. And one, one side of it now feels... It's not tuggy and it's not uncomfortable. It's just not as efficient as the other side of the blade. It's not as comfortable. So just this feels pretty good. Does it feel? It, it never seems to feel quite as good 
as it does from a synthetic brush when I make a lather from a natural from this brush in, in particular. It has done when I've made an exceptional lather with this brush, which I've done a couple of times. Now that to me is a pretty good second lather, it doesn't look very thick, which it isn't, but I don't need it for the second lather to be super thick. I should really head, head lather with the brush, the reason I chose to bowl lather with it today was because it seems to bring out the most hairs <laughs> when I bowl lather. Now, touch wood, I, actually I told a bit of a fib, I did lose a hair. I lost one here right at the very beginning before I even lathered up, before I even turned the camera on I just pulled the brush out and there was a loose hair in there so I have lost one here but other than that I can't really grumble so far hopefully, hopefully it's on that, that road to greatness Right, Wunderbar Kai Blade with unknown uses on it against the grain or against the growth Sounds like my boys have finished the dinner. So I'm waiting for that knock on the door saying, Can I have some ice cream? It's funny when you grow up and you get a bit older. I mean, I know a lot of guys out there st still have dessert, but I don't generally have a dessert now. The closest thing I get to dessert is like a, a bowl of muesli. Really, don't have chocolate. I don't eat crisps. Don't have fizzy drinks. Don't drink sugary drinks. All I drink generally is water, tea, and coffee. And most of the teas that I drink are either green teas, caffeine-free. Right, let's see how it feels against the grain here. I know I always look puzzled when I'm doing this bit, but. Pulled my head tight, my skin on my head tighter. I have to say it feels it feels pretty good to see this blade. Oh I have had my dinner. I don't know why my stomach's talking to me. Yeah, to see this blade has been well used. It's definitely not quite as efficient as normal. In fact, if I'm honest, it's a little bit, it's not tuggy, it's a bit jumpy. And I'm not sure whether that's down to the ladder or not. Not tuggy, it's just, just skipping a bit.
I have to say it's, it seems to be working fine again. I don't, I don't know why it's went from being slightly tuggy. super smooth again, I really don't know. Oh, getting cramped in my hand now. I've been working with my brother-in-law. He's an electrician, so I've been... I'm actually pretty good at electrics. I've been doing it for a long time now, on the side. But when, you, when you're off the tools for a while, You pick them back up again and you're just going like this all day. <laughs> it catches up on you. That's for sure. Right, there's not much left up there, that's for sure. Just dip my fingers. And yeah, the slickness, the residual slickness feels great. It's it just it felt a bit like the blade itself wasn't quite cutting as good on that part. So I could probably get away with just using the residual slickness that's on my head, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna beat this brush around the bowl a little bit more. Excuse me, I've got a bit of wind today. And then just paint what's left out of the bowl onto my head. It won't be thick. If anything, it's actually a little bit aerated. See how we go with the clean up of the brush at the end. As to whether I'm actually going to lose any. Let's say I lost one right at the beginning. Now I have shampooed the brush with a good quality moisturising shampoo. And then I conditioned it twice as well. I don't know whether that's what you should or shouldn't do. It certainly softened the tips a lot. Softened the whole brush as a whole a lot. Taken. I haven't taken an interest in it, but I've been watching the videos recently that I've, and I've actually really enjoyed watching it, the straight razor shaving. Now I will say, I would like to see someone out there, whether it be Rudd's, The Stallion, John Romanov, someone whip out the straight razor and do a full straight razor face shave, the whole lot, and cover it all against the grain with the grain. Because I know the reason why most guys... And we're back. I hope... 
I did run out of data there, that was my daughter ringing me. She's just staying in the library a little bit longer today. Right, well, that's pretty much nothing left there. What I'm going to do, I don't normally do this, I'm just going to squeeze out what's left in the brush, pop on my head, and then just rub it around. Just for something a bit different. I don't have to, there's plenty of slickness on here, it's pretty just slickness. Yeah, I think this bleeds on its last legs. So this is the last shave from it. It's been a great servant. And I think I'll try a different blade next time, just try something a bit different. Using the old Kai blades are phenomenal, but it doesn't quite give the, the variation. How we feel? How we feel? A little bit there. Yeah, that's pretty much us. Right, 
I forgot to use my pre-shave. <laughs> okay, I'm going to finish off now with a little splash of Humphreys Original, and I've got lime essential oil in here. Lovely jubbly. And while that is soaking in, I'm going to rinse off my bowl. Quick dry out. And I'm going to wash the brush. See how many hairs come out. like rinsing down into the knot with an actual hairbrush. I prefer to fill the sink up with about that much water and just sort of beat it around like I would normally in a bowl, for a bowl rather. I find that works absolutely fine. and flick out the rest of the water as much as I can and I'll give it my usual this is just nice and light I'm just brushing tip, literally just flicking the tips of the brush on the towel and the great thing I find about doing this with a natural hair brush is that it it just aids in softening the tips and splitting them Another here, that's three, lucky three, hopefully. Hopefully that's the end of it. But in terms of the actual brush knot and the way it looks, it's a beautiful little brush, it really is. Right, that's pretty much soaked in. I'm now gonna finish off with a bit of Bluebeard Revenge moisturizer, which I have not used in ages. I love the scent on Bluebeard Revenge products. Oh yeah. Well, that's some solving, I'll just show you what I used again. Phoenix and Bow Albion, shit hot soap, really, really good stuff. It's a soft soap, doesn't take much to load, easy to lather. I did struggle in the bowl with that brush, it made a great lather, but it just struggles to get it on my head, unfortunately. The razor was the Wunderbar by Razor Rock, with a Kai blade in there, which will be going in the bin now, but I had shit tons of shaves out of it. So much for not swearing in. Eh? Oh, it smells incredible now. Morrison Fondren. 28mm 3 bland blonde badger handle and knot are Lee Sabini made in England as you can see on that side it smells incredible now and only three three hairs lost today which is pretty damn good quite happy with that really finished off with Humphreys original as you can see the lime oil on the top there with lime essential oil which I added for the scent moisturising balm from Bluebeard Revenge that's pretty much dried and absorbed now. I'm just going to finish off now with what's left of my Holy Core Dark Vetiver Toner. It's got a really nice scent. It actually smells similarish to the Bluebeard Revenge Moisturiser. It really is. It's lovely. It's a beautiful scent. Holy Core products are really, really good products. Really impressive and the soaps now, the donkey milk soaps are as good as anything I've used so it's impressive stuff and Sri over there makes great products now and I'm really really happy using them. Just the labelling gets me a little bit but that's really whinging if you want to pick something out. But other than that guys, thanks very much for tuning in. I shall leave you to it. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers. <laughs>